Hi guys, Pete the Wargame here, back with another conversion tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can convert an Aversa Assassin themed Astra Militarum kill team. For this conversion, the only components that we'll be using will be the Vansar Gang for Necromunda and also the Citadel Skull set from Games Workshop. We will be using some glass beads later on, but these are optional. The first step in this conversion is to recreate the famous Aversa Assassin Skull Helmet, and for this you'll need to take component number one from Games Workshop's Skull Kit. As you can see, these skulls fit quite nicely into the neck joints of the Van Sar Gang, but there are a couple of tweaks that we can make just to improve that fit a little bit more. So take your hobby file and slightly reduce the width of the neck joint where it actually contacts the back of the skull. Every now and again, bring in the skull again to make sure that you have the perfect width. Once you are happy with the width, you can then glue the neck joint into the torso of the Van Sar gang member. Before attaching the torso to the rest of the body, and then finally gluing on the skull. And what we're left with is the basic structure of our Aversa kill team member. This is what we'll be building on for the rest of this video. The next step involves an optional extra, and this is to add some glass beads into the eye sockets of the skull. Now this is because the eye sockets look quite hollow otherwise, and this is a mask after all, you would expect some sort of optics to be present in them. Now as I've already mentioned, this step is entirely optional, as it is quite a fiddly task to do. Start off by applying some superglue to the end of a piece of wire. Then we'll be using this wire to add the superglue into the eye sockets of the skull. By adding the glue this way, we ensure that we actually get the glue inside the socket and not around the socket. Then use a slightly dampened brush to pick up one of the beads. Now we'll be using this to apply the small glass bead that you can see here directly into the eye socket. You may need to add a small amount of pressure to ensure that the glass bead stays in place, but the glue should take hold and make sure it's firmly attached. Repeat this process across all of the eye sockets on all of your kill team members. With the base structure of our Aversa kill team member completed, we can now move on to some of the weapon options. Now rules wise, I'll be basing my kill team around the Militarum Tempestus, and so we'll be recreating the weapon options available to that particular unit. For the regular hotshot last gun wielding team members, I'll simply be using the high tech looking last guns found in this Vansar kit. However, for some of the more specialist weapons, we do need to get a little bit creative. Before you start attaching any weapons to your kill team though, I would recommend writing up your roster. For this particular kill team, I've opted to use the following. A Tempesta with the leader specialization and a power sword, a Tempestus gunner with the heavy specialization and a hotshot volley gun, another Tempestus gunner who also has a specialization, this time the demolition specialization, and also a flamer, and finally another Tempestus gunner armed with a plasma gun. However, we do have another specialist, which is one of the regular scions, and that is going to be a comm specialist with a vox caster. Now the remaining four members of the team will just be regular Tempesta Scions. Once you have this list, you can then start working out how you can get these weapon options onto your units and also how you can represent those specializations. Let's kick things off by building up our heavy gunner armed with the hotshot volley gun. The first part is easy as the Vansar suppression laser works perfectly to represent the heavier hotshot volley gun. So simply follow the steps present in the Vansar assembly guide. On the other hand, to represent that heavy specialization will be a little trickier. To make this miniature appear bulkier, I've added in an external power source for the weapon. Now to represent this, you'll need to gather one of the cybernetic ponytails from one of the Vansar gang members. We'll be using this to represent a power cord, which is going to the rear of the miniature, where we're representing some sort of power pack using one of the energy shield components. Before you can use this front component from the energy shield, you'll first of all need to cut away the tab that's at the back of the component. You can use a hobby file or a hobby knife to then smooth out the area beneath. Once this has been completed, we can then glue this component to the back of our Tempestus Gunner. Next up, we have the Demolition Specialist armed with the Flamer. Now to represent the Flamer, I've decided to use one of the Malta Combi weapons. Now this is gonna be the most similar looking to a Flamer that we can find in this kit, but if you want to use components from another kit, you can feel free to use those instead. To represent his demolition status, we're going to be using some of the grenades and pouches found in this kit. Start off by gluing some grenades to his waist. Then we'll be using the two components in this kit, which are three pouches attached together. 
We'll be gluing these to the back of our demolition specialist, and these will represent things like extra explosives or satchel charges. The next kill team member to convert is the comm specialist equipped with the Vox kit. For this conversion, you want to find the shock stave component from the kit, and then lightly clip away the top and bottom of the stave from the hand, leaving the hand intact. You can then lightly file down the contact points to smooth out the area and make this into a usable arm. After attaching this arm to the rest of your comm specialist, we can now start to work on the Vox kit. Start off by taking the plasma gun components from the kit and removing the plasma cartridge from the bottom of it. Then file down the area that the plasma cartridge was attached to, as well as the small stubs of the barrel. Still using the file, you'll then want to flatten out the back of our comm specialist so that we can glue his backpack to it easily. You'll then want to bring in the remnants of the shock stave handle that we cut off earlier. Then you'll want to cut it down slightly so there's only two sections remaining, and then file down that contact point. You can then glue this component to our plasma gun that we've already prepared, creating the effect of a Vox kit with an aerial. You can then glue this component to the back of our comm specialist. For the plasma gunner, I decided to use one of the female bodies in the kit and give them twin plasma pistols. In the game, this would count as a plasma gun, but it looks pretty cool on the miniature. Assembling the Tempesta was just as easy. I opted to use the body, which is resting one of its legs on one of the crates, giving it a more leader-like pose. For the arms, I gave him a last gun pistol in his right hand, and his left hand was left empty. This particular arm came from the pairing from the Rad Cannon. To give this Tempesta a slightly more averse assassin appearance, I added a sensor ray to his left chest panel and also glued the power knife to the back of him. And so that concludes this video on converting the Vansar kit to represent an Aversa assassin themed Astra Militarum kill team. I like to think that this Aversa assassin kill team is sent in to deal with any remnants after the main Aversa assassin has been sent in and has wreaked his carnage. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do let me know in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for future Kill Team conversion videos you would like to see me tackle, I would love to hear those as well. If you want to share your work, ask me questions, or simply talk with other people who enjoy watching my videos, I've set up a Discord server, which you can find a link to in the description below. And if you're supporting me on Patreon, there is a patron-only channel on there as well. And so, the only thing left to say is thanks for watching, and goodbye.